Now coming to the match that uh, is coming up, uh, Nigeria, they won the last match against Benin uh, in an impress impressive way. Uh, they are uh, having a lot of not only very good players, world-class players in their, in their squad. Um, we are preparing our team as best as possible and uh, it looks they are fit and uh, they are getting better and better. That's uh, a very good situation for me to see as, a, as the coach. Um, and uh, we are excited uh, to play tomorrow in uh, the new stadium, uh, hopefully with a lot of spectators uh, supporting us, uh, which uh, for sure will give us a boost against uh, this uh, strong side. And then we will see what, uh, what will happen. Uh, for sure we will not make it easy for them to get some points from this uh, stadium, new stadium. Thank you very much. I will not give any information about the lineup. For sure, we will adapt to uh, the opponent team. What is what is uh, always our job? Uh, it's a different team than Libya and. Uh, they probably might also play in a different way, so we will approach in a different way. Uh, um, as we think, will give us uh, a chance to um, oh, prepare. <laughs> we prepare as good as possible. Um, um, it's always difficult um, with the situation of players coming from abroad, uh, they joined us very late uh, in, uh, in Libya. For example, my captain even has to, to sit in a prison cell for some hours because of complications. Then the travel back, uh, now we have had uh, two or three days now to recover from this and um, um, we had some more training sessions which is always helping because uh, players are coming late in. Um, so I think uh, if I see what is happening in the training, it, I'm, uh, I'm very happy with it. And um, yeah, I think we are well prepared for, for uh, this opponent. And uh, we, hope, uh, we hope to show a good match tomorrow. That's the most important thing for me. And as I always say, if you play well, also the results sooner or later will come. Uh, uh, but I also said uh, we are playing against some world-class strikers. Every national team would be happy to have them. So uh, it's not only uh, how to defend these guys by a one against one. You have to create uh, situations where you at least are with two guys against these, these uh, strikers, for example. Uh, because otherwise uh, it will be very, very difficult and dangerous. Uh, and uh, now it will depend on how good we get these uh, ideas to the field. Uh, but as I said, I'm positive uh, what I have seen in the last training sessions. It's about the team in general. I've seen that their performance is going up nowadays. What are you changing to improve the standards of matches? Okay, about Georgia, I can say, uh, as I expect, <laughs> he, I, I told you that he was coming late, uh, so we had only one training session with him before the match against Libya. Now he has made some uh, more training sessions with us. Uh, which uh, helped him to adapt to our way of playing uh, and uh, the tactical uh, situation. So he has done very well in the last training sessions. Um, so we will see uh, what happens tomorrow. Well, now, now that the, the team is performing well, what did you change? What, what I will change, not what, what I... Well, so what I did change, that the team is getting better. <laughs> you see, um, you have to 
to explain things, you have then to uh, training exercises and match organization, organization in the training that is helping the players to get these ideas, what they have heard before in the meeting uh, on the field. And uh, so <laughs> I always telling the same, it's a process and process takes time and I always say uh, as longer you can work with the team as more these things become stable in their mind because they're always going between the, the national camps, they're going back to the clubs and uh, then they have to do something different in the clubs mostly and then they have to come back but as more camps we have and now it's our fourth camp with me uh, these situations are coming back quicker than before and uh, that's why slowly also the idea how I want to have our team play is getting more and more on the field and uh, in the training it's unfortunately you are not allowed to watch the training but I can tell you in the training it's already working very well but now the next step has to go from the training field or match to the international match but okay we have seen I think some very good situations already in the last match against Libya it was not as bad as our first matches in the camps before so uh, now I'm very positive that even now against a very strong side you will even see more of uh, what I try to teach them and uh, yeah I'm uh, excited uh, for tomorrow match and uh, I hope uh, you will see some very good football and then I also hope that we will have somehow a good result.